Nothing. All quiet? Yeah, it's still kipping. We'll soon change that, though. It is only seven o'clock, Pete. Well, we're up, ain't we? Anyway, this has got to be better than nights, isn't it? Suppose so. Or has Kenny baby put you off working with me? It don't bother me, you won't work with me. Yeah, you're okay, lad. You're sorry, isn't it? But a right good copper. Wrong door. Oh. Yes? Sorry, love. Do you think they ever take them trousers off? Morning, Mr. Pike. Your early morning call from the Met Escort Agency. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah come in. Oh, thank you very much. Sorry, I thought you'd be, you know, outside for a bit. No, we'll wait in here if it's all the same to you. Yeah, of course. Just the two of you, is it? Great save, sir. Oh, sunny smells good. I've just got a bit of bacon on. Always treat myself on a Friday. Hmm. Would you like a bit? Oh, that's very decent of you. Andrew, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm Peter. This is Yorkie. Morning. Hello, mate. Would you like some? Oh, not for him, thanks. He only eats tripe and whippets. No, thanks, mate. They're scaling down, then, the uh, protection. Yeah, your TSG coverage got knocked on the head. Governors wouldn't stand the cost of it anymore. They've been stood down because the guards were protecting you from being picked up on another charge. <laughs> no, uh, if you believe that, you'll believe anything. We're supposed to be protecting him from the accused mates, right? Mansell's got enough previous to be mates with every slag in London. Take the notice, mate. Yeah, don't worry. You're perfectly safe with us, son. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I've been really impressed with the TSG and everything. It sort of spurred me on, actually, to become a special. A special what? Well, constable, you know. I've been so impressed with the way the police have looked after me, I've thought, you know, it'd be good to, to be a part of it. I think your toast is burning. Well, I've written out my application now for the specials, like. And stuck a stamp on. So that's it. Best of luck then, mate. So, Andrew, what are we going to do today? Well, yeah, how do you mean? Well, is there anywhere you fancy going? Wouldn't you rather I stay here? Makes your job easier, doesn't it? Well, put it this way, you're not exactly confined to barracks. I mean, if you want to go out, there's not a lot we can do to stop you. How do you fancy Sandown races? I can't afford to go to Sandown. Well, that's all right. We're all chipping. Aren't we, Yorkie? Uh, can you just excuse a minute, please, Mr. Pike? Sure, yeah, yeah. Pete, do you want to just step out there? Sat down, please. The guy's on the dole, right? So if we want to get a day We're out... We're not here for that bloody day out. Well, we don't want to be stuck in this hole for the duration, do we? Look, what's wrong? He's Listen, going racing pockets. when we support supposed all to right. be on duty. All right, we won't go racing, then. How about... Windsor Safari Park? How about if we have a prank on the motorway? Well, we'll go by train. Suits me. Look, it gets him out of the area, doesn't it? Listen, I am not clubbing together to take a witness who I'm supposed to be protecting out on an away day. If he wants to go out, we follow him. If he wants to stay in, we stay in, right? I wouldn't mind a couple of hours at the dog track. Yeah. Morning, Percy. Morning. Morning, sir. Percy Edwards, son here. Uh -huh. What do you want? Assault case, Mike the Beresford. Any chance of getting on a bit sharp? I'm on night duty. Nothing I can do, son. Have to ask the usher. Percy. When do you reckon that Bellisford fake case is going to come up? Caught one. Your guess is as good as mine, mate. Only I'm on night, see? I can't be forever changing the order. This job's complicated enough as it is. Ellingswick! Hey, look, we could squeeze in there, couldn't we? It's only a D and D. No Ellingswick either. Why don't you go and get a cup of tea? Have one for me as well. God knows when I'm going to get a break. I see Tutu! Keeping up, please, Edwards. I'll manage. Who are we perjuring ourselves over today? I leave that up to your clients, Mr. Sully. Beresford, is it? 
Uh, six of one half a dozen the other, that assault, don't you think? Not even you can believe that, surely. I think the man's an animal. I think we should do quite well, actually. Nice lady JP's on the bench. No liverish old stipend for his, wanted to lock everyone up. The only trouble with JP's, of course, they uh, take their time, don't they? Uh, keep a man from his bed. A tea, coffee? I'll get my own, thanks very much. Mm, should be on by 12 o'clock, uh, providing Nick Martin turns up with his papers. He has been known to leave him at his girlfriend's flat. Colin, nice to see you. Hello, Mr. Ebbers. What are you up for, then? You've been on the old brown herbs again? I'm giving evidence. You can laugh off. What, court one? I'm in that poxy court two. That only cost me like some work. I mean, I ask it. What did I expect? It only cost me 30 quid for the motor. Anyway, up there, hurry up. I'm doing my other piece at half eleven. Got a case up the old Bailey next week. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, is that Beresford yours? Oh, look, I've told you already, Bullivant. Just naff off, will you? Right, evil snake is. Did one of my mates up the other day just for the fun of it. The streets ain't safe. You just make sure you give it a right good bending if you have to, OK? And there was this sort of scuffling noise. And I just leaned to the trees, and there's this guy Mansell, you know, grappling with a girl. Turns out he had a knife, but I never thought about it. I just sort of steamed in, which is ridiculous. Anyway, the girl got out from under, like, and he did a runner with her bag and so forth. But your lot picked him up soon after. And apparently he stands to go down for eight years minimum. Well, proper little urban hero, ain't you, Andrew? No, no, well, I'm not, see, that's the point. If you'd have asked me how I'd react in that situation, I'd have said I'd have run a mile. Hold on. What's up? I was going to post me that, wasn't I? Do you mind hanging on? Sure. We'll meet you at the car, OK? Yeah, I'll shop you a sec. I knew he'd want to be a special. From the moment I clapped eyes on him, I knew. He's got that look about him. A grade one divvy. Seems all right to me. Well, I wouldn't do this job for nothing, I know that. Well, I'm not saying I would either. Well, then, there's got to be something wrong with these people. They've got to be weirdos or something. And nearly people. They told you, didn't they? He admires the police. Let's not shatter his illusions entirely. Why? What have I done? Oh, you haven't done anything. It's this. What? Sandown races for a kickoff. Look, when it comes to feeling collars, I'm there, right? None better. But this, it's just another Mickey Mouse job, isn't it? Nursemaid to a plonker. So, you've got to make the best of it. Use a bit of initiative. Anyway, the dogs was Andrew's idea, not mine. If he makes it, you've let your man out of sight, mate. He could have got a knife for all you know. Let's go and see, eh? What's up? He's disappeared. All right. All right, mate. Sorry I missed you. I popped round to number 20. The old lady I usually get a few bits and pieces for on a Friday. Fine. Oh. I was just about to call you up. Edwards, son here. All right, come on in. You're on the Hammersley case, aren't you? No, Beresford. Beresford. Punched a woman in the face. Oh, yes, right, right. Not quite a foe yet. Papers didn't arrive until yesterday afternoon. Had a dinner engagement last night. Mm, excuse the bun, I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> Traffic was horrendous. Well, huh? all seems pretty straightforward. As long as I don't forget whose side I'm on. That likely? No, no, this is Friday. I must be prosecuted. You're not in the CPS, then? Heaven for the firm. Got my own practice in Chelmsford. CPS, farm work out to me. Just I don't want this one to get lost by default. You attend to your clock-ups, officer. I'll attend to mine. Oh, morning, Percy. Do we have an attractive dark in court one this morning? No, you've got Gordon Peck. Oh. 
Charlie? Is Charlie here yet? Oh, morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you, Mrs. Fox? All better, thanks, except for the neck. Do you know when our case will be on? Well, they just started now. We're third on, so who knows? I feel so nervous. I just don't want to see him again. I suppose you're used to it. Up to a point, yes. Yeah. Is this it? Yep. As soon as they knock it down and build a ledger pool, the better. Leave it out. This is our roots, isn't it, Andrew? Okay, I mean, all going round together. The TSG were always so inconspicuous like. Well, that was the only so they could pile in and nick anyone who went near you. They was using you as bait, really, chump. Three, please. Thank you. One for you and one for you. Of course, your problems don't end with a trial, do they? Especially if Mansell goes down. I mean, you're looking at a change of name, aren't you? And address. How do you fancy being a special in Scunthorpe? Every time Richard starts the car, I see that boy, Beresford, standing behind it. You're done. You'll get over it. Sorry. Stroll on. Fifty quid fine plus costs. You in there? No, Lucky for you, love. Mind you, screw that slave, all right? Well, go away, bully bunch. <laughs> Case two has blown out. Various on the next. Starters, how'd you do, Andrew? Put it down, didn't I? Ah, uh, well, you see, you've got to pick the ones with four legs, mate. Ah, yeah. uh, come on, you Yorkshire pudding. Put some money on. Where's your spirit of adventure? This could be our lucky day. Oi! Where are you going? I need a leak. You don't need any help, do you? Now, in the next race, I reckon Poacher's Tail's going to do the business for me. That was quick. There's a body in there. You are a body. Do you think he's all right? Yeah, he's all right. Mm. Easy. Come on, you old tough spot. What do you think this is? The silver ring? Are you gonna get up or am I gonna get you up? Yeah, okay, well, okay. Take it easy. Come on, take it easy. That's it, okay. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Look at the state of him. See this? You wanna lose this, do you? Well, get yourself home before you celebrate next time, right? Whoa. There you are. Told you it was all right, Andrew. Well, I think you should have done that. Damn what? Kicked him. Kicked him? I only tapped his feet. Well, not me to kick yours, would you? Look, I was doing him a favour. Someone would have nicked his winnings. Yeah? Well, I'm going to report you. You're what? You heard? Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, hang about a minute, Andrew. I think we're getting things just a little bit out of proportion here, don't you? Listen to him, Yorkie. Yeah, okay, let's You've just... been taking a mick all day. I'm not a total wally, you know. I don't think all our policemen are wonderful. Especially arrogant pigs like you. You better watch your mouth, sunshine. Otherwise, me and you is going to fall out. Check it easy. Take your hands off! Fuck right that loud packing dick! Nobody talks to me like that, not even urban hero. Shut up! Look, Andrew, no harm done, yeah? OK? Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Sabra's not giving in, though, so watch it. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Would you tell the court your name, please, officer? Francis Edwards, PC101, attached to Sunhill Police Station. Were you called to an incident at number 11, Wimbury Road, at 9.30pm on the evening of 13th May this year? I was. Officer, did you make a note of the incident? I did. When did you make that note? I returned to the station and made the note about 10 o'clock p.m. While the events were still fresh in your mind? That's correct. May the officer refer to his notes to refresh his memory while giving evidence, Your Worship? Yes, Mr. Martin. Thank you. I'm afraid I've left them outside. And may I fetch them? Very well, officer. I'll manage without, madam. Look at him. No wonder you never see a poor bookie. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Do you want one? Not till number five's done the business for me. A cup of tea and a pack of biscuits, please. Was with four legs, mate. Where's Andrew? Collecting his winnings, a jammy slag. No, he's not. You plank! Take the back stairs! Excuse me, gents, can I see your betting slips, please? Constable Edwards, both Mr. and Mrs. Fox have told the court that they're quite certain that it was Mr. Beresford who struck the blow to Mrs. Fox's face and that he did so deliberately. 
This despite the fact that it was almost dark, there were several other of Mr. Beresford's friends present, all involved in the argument, and there was a considerable amount of pushing and shouting on both sides. Now, I put it to you, officer, that on arriving at the scene, being required to sort out who did what to whom, you, for the sake of simplicity, picked out one of the group, and that one was Michael Beresford. I merely acted on Mrs. Fox's identification, which was corroborated by her husband. You didn't assist them in making that identification? I did not. What then did you mean when you said to Mr. Beresford, right then, you'll do? I didn't say that. Mr. Beresford says you did? Well, then he must be mistaken. You are sure? Quite sure. Even without referring to your notes? Yes. You weren't reacting in anger after being accidentally pushed over by Mr. Beresford and tearing your trousers? <laughs> I'm quite used to getting my trousers torn. Constable Edwards, it had been a hectic evening. You were near the end of the shift. Tempers do get a little frayed, judgment impaired, or one is tired. People lose things, act unprofessionally, go for the quick solution. It happens to all of us, not just policemen. Mr. Beresford was certainly involved in the melee, but Mrs. Fox herself has admitted everything happened so fast. It was a sudden, violent, mixed-up nightmare to which you brought relief and clarity by singling out Mr. Beresford. No. That's the next lot, innit? Looks like it. Home sweet home again, Andrew. Right, thanks. If you'd like to hop out, mate, I'll hand you over. OK. okay. Got all your bits and pieces, Mrs. Duda. Yeah. Well, nice to have met you. And you, Andrew. Maybe we'll be on again before the trial comes up. I'll have the bacon ready. Um, sorry I wasn't more help, you know, when you did the business. No sweat. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, thanks again, anyway. His special letter on the floor. Oh, we'll pass it for him. Yeah. OK. All the evidence I gave on the stand would be the same. Court will rise. Will you stand up, please? Mr. Beresford, we find the case against you not proved. Case dismissed. You're free to go. Uh, Your Worship, on behalf of my client, may I thank the bench for its fair and dare I say, wise consideration of the facts in this case. 